Families lined Green Bay and Washington streets in Bondwell over an hour before the parade stepped off. The crowd grew into the thousands as children and adults alike eagerly anticipated the parade. In the last couple of years, it's been down because of COVID, and this is probably the largest group we've had in three years. So yeah, we range around 4,000, I think, in the past four to six, so it was close to that. That means for a town of around 1,500, the population triples for the festivities. But what makes this year's parade so special? It's even a little bit more special because a lot of people haven't been out from COVID, and it's just, it's nice to get together. People come from all over the region to get their fill of 4th of July classics like the parade, the fireworks tonight, and of course a little American Legion baseball between Bondwell and Shauna. The floats in the parade included nonprofits, the school band, local businesses, politicians, the police and fire department, and local sports teams. Harmony Reamer has been a part of the parade for years. I've been coming here since I started doing drill team with the 4-H. Um, so I've been here for eight years now. This year's parade takes on just a bit more meaning for Reamer. She won Shawano County's Fairest of the Fair for 2022 and got to ride through the parade as an ambassador, both for the fair and the community. Excited. I love seeing a whole bunch of people and throwing candy to kids. They were so excited. And like just the smiles on their faces was amazing. While Reamer got the crowd excited during the parade, the festivities continued afterward in nearby Washington Park. Attendees enjoyed music, dancing, games, and even a bike raffle, all in celebration of coming together for the nation's birthday. In Bondowell, Chris Lemo, NBC26.